Yo, what's going on everybody? Your boy Nord in today. I'm gonna teach you guys how to flick like this. Check it out. Now, a quick pause to our sponsor. And today's video is sponsored by Mankar, which is a platform that creates a unique user experience for all fans of sports, enabling an exciting fantasy management in a platform that offers potential for additional income in form of money, NFTs, cards, for guessing the results of games, fights in the world's major sport matches. And everyone in the platform can bet in Valorant tournaments, Dota, CSGO, Fortnite, and much more. The main goal of main card team is the platform is designed to let Gen Z and all older users educate themselves on what is crypto, fantasy management, and NFTs. Players don't lose their money whatsoever, but rather they go through an educational process to learn how all this stuff works. Main card also brings a new audience to different sports brands, and this is because to play the game you need to understand who's playing. It's pretty much like a gameplay. There's five level level of cards. In order to get a high level, you should make correct predictions in the games or the fights. So if you want to have some fun, don't forget to click the link in the description or the pinned comment. Thank you, Rain Card, for sponsoring me. Let's go back to the video. Special video here for you guys. A lot of you guys are asking for this type of videos again. You guys seem to like. I want you guys to evolve. I want you guys to achieve success in whatever you do. Uh, if you want to get a better rank, if you're gold, you want to get to immortal, like you can do it. Just believe yourself. Focus on yourself. The major part of the people don't really do flick exercises because Valorant is not really a flicking game. Like sometimes you you don't want to rely on your flicks. That's what I'm trying to say. Valorant is a game that pretty much is this. Like very small adjustments, right? Some situations you got to be able to flick really quick and react really fast. Let's say I'm in the middle of a, like a 3v1. I want to I be able to do that quick flake and grab my E and dip as fast as I can. First thing that I do is put it too hard and instead instead of aiming at the middle and just trying to flake like everyone else do, I want to make it harder for myself. So right, what do I do? Well, we're going to use the wood as a point of reference and this is like a 180 and I want to dominate this 180 angle with my wrist only. So from here to here, here to here. It's kind of like automatic for me already because I'm so used to it. Like that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys, because if you guys dominate, this is going to become so much easier to flick. Doing this exercise, focus in the flicks as fast as you can react as quick as you can. And don't care about the score. If you hit, you hit. And if you miss, it's all good. At the end of the day, that's exactly what you're practicing. You want to get better. Give time. Be patient. So try not to focus on the score that you're going to get when you do this type of exercise because it's not really important. Another thing that I like to do as breach is to put the practice mode and just let two bots here. So kind of like this. So I have two bots now and I try to do like one, two. So kind of one, two, one, two. This exercise, what you want after doing the flex exercise is consistency, right? Doing this, just try to like, in, as the last video uh, that I talked about aiming and stuff like this, I told you guys to do like a very straight line. So here is the same thing, but instead come up here because that way is going to be like more uh, variance of the angles and try to do like a straight line from here to here. So kind of like this. Very straight lines. And very calm, like I'm not rushing my shots or anything. I'm very chill going from point A to point B. And look, it's just my wrist moving. Like I'm not moving anything else other than my wrist. This is full wrist motion, boys. Full wrist motion. And that's what you guys want to do in this exercise. Basically, what you want with this training is to not judge yourself. Like nobody got like from silver to radiant in like a day or a week or a month like some people gotta grind like to get wh whatever rank they are so for example if you guys are like in silver or gold i promise you guys that you guys can get immortal radiant if you guys keep going you just gotta keep grinding just gotta keep focusing on yourself just try to filtrate good information for yourself try to learn with this type of information that's why i do this videos because i want you guys to succeed i want you guys to achieve the goals that you guys have that's the main goal in the videos and i hope you guys like this type of videos i flip to the bots 
and I stay kind of in the same spot as the bot was. So kind of like this. Why do I do this? Because it makes it harder to do the second click, like afterwards. Look. See? The bot spawn like really far. Look. Let me try to do it. Like, let me do something. Here. There we go. That was that was see how far that was? And I'm not really caring about like how many bots I'm I'm hitting or anything like this. This is not important in this exercise. So basically I'm trying to put myself in a very uncomfortable situation because that's when I will evolve. So it's pretty much to all of you guys. Like let's say you play arena, right? You an entry, you're our jet or whatever. You're gonna need to flick all over the place because sometimes you're gonna need to react super quick. If you see someone in the minimap before entering like a, a sova spotted for you, you're gonna be able to react super quick if you do this type of exercises. And I, I see a lot of people just doing this type of stuff, like just holding an angle and doing like small flakes because this is kind of like Valorant is a small flake. So like from kind of like this, this is cool. But sometimes you're going to need to flick. Of course, the major part of the time, you don't want to rely on flicks. But if you practice your flicks, you're going to become like a flick machine. And it, another thing that I see a lot of people doing is that they stay in the same spot, in the same range, practicing the flicks. But in reality, you're not always going to be that close to an enemy. The, the major part of the fights in Valorant happen in the mid distance to the long range distances. So it's really good to do this type of exercise over here, where you go a little bit far back and try to hit those shots in a very calm and precise way. That way you can practice your long and mid range flicks as well. I'm focusing in a one in this 180 over here. So I'm using only my wrist, as you guys can see. And everything that I'll do here is gonna be using the wrist only, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Sometimes I go backwards, like over here. And I also tend to do like very tiny adjustments like this. From one box to the other. And another training that I really enjoy doing after doing all of this is this one. Put it too hard and you just follow the bot and you keep, for example, if the bot spawn, the idea behind this training is like if the bot spawn here, for example, it spawn here, right? I'll put my aim exactly here and not move the aim at all until the next bot appears. That way it's going to be harder to hit the next bot, if, especially because if it, if it spawns here, it's going to be far and you're going to need to do that crazy flick. Instead, going back to the middle, like everyone does, you're going to just stay in the bot. So you're going to make it harder for yourself, kind of. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy. I never talked about this before, uh, but I think it's a pretty cool training and I never saw no one else doing. And you guys tend to like this type of video. So if you enjoy, drop like. If not, just tell me in the comments. No, to stop doing this type of videos. And I stop, right? Much love, my boys. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.